Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my lead play rank from last night. And if you follow me on Twitter, you've already seen it. But let's hop into that right now. Bang. We got expert rank. It says rank one expert. I don't really under fully understand. I just know expert is better than what most people are getting. Even some of the pros are getting, like, whatever the lowest rank is. It's weird. I was position five, but we just did, like, one last search and destroy, and we were trolling pretty hard. And we went from position five to position eight. But another thing I want to say is yesterday, when, when I recorded my video yesterday for the best league play classes, uh, I didn't know that they are going to have this nice big like hot fix to fix like ban like almost all the stuff that needs to be banned. So I tried to edit as much as I could. I didn't have enough time to record it, but if uh couldn't stand watching through that, basically you take off Task Force Barrel and put Liberator on all your 74 use, which you should have done anyway. I just told you guys to have Task Force Barrel on because everyone else is going to use it. That's literally the only reason. Uh, and then also get rid of gun co on everything and do cold blooded if you're gonna run per greed which you should be if you're not running gunfighter and then the sniper rifle class i i mean i just put on hammer forge like for fire rate or you can even do rapid fire we don't want any uh cons but the auto sway doesn't really matter because you hold your breath and then obviously you have to get rid of the tiger team so uh, spotlight so i just went ahead and did steady aim laser and that's i mean that's basically it for the most part so i just wanted to uh, put that in there but let's hop into a game and talk about league play Alrighty, so I found a game of hardpoint. It was a little bit late. This is not league play, by the way. This is just uh, pubs. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say this a few more times just for the people who haven't watched my other videos. But I'm not going to be doing league play for my videos just because, like, I don't want to. I only have a short amount of time normally to record my videos. And I don't want to accidentally get, like, a CDL search and destroy, which would be so hard to, like, do a cut com on. You know what I'm saying? So, just so you guys know, this is just a pub match. Even though we're going to be talking about some league play today. The very first thing I want to say about League Play is I am actually so grateful. Like, at the time, it sucked. But I'm so grateful that I did not play League Play on the first day. So I couldn't play it on the first night because my wife is a nurse. And, like, the way her work schedule was is I wasn't able to play. Like, I don't play games, for the most part, when my wife is, like, off work because she's a nurse. She works a ton. So the times that she is off work, you know, we spend some time together. And then times like this when she's, you know, working, I bust out all my content. So I wasn't able to play League Play, which at the time sucked. But looking back at it, I am so grateful because I did not have to play in that super toxic, like, one-day meta where they didn't have anything banned. Now, the game is still not perfect uh, by any means. You know, we still have perk greed. We still have overkill. But I will say I appreciate all the work that they have done so far. I, you know, I still do wish it would have been perfect for the amount of time they made this way. But I'm okay with it. It was still a ton of fun. Now, I will say the reason why they're not going to get rid of perk greed is because they clearly just haven't figured out a way to get rid of overkill yet and so if they get rid of perk greed now then everyone's gonna run lawbreaker you know instead of perk greed which like is what they're supposed to do but why would anyone want like in pubs like pub league play run lawbreaker and not run like the overkill so i'm actually appreciative that they're allowing perk greed right now to not force every oh okay to not force everyone into running like overkill you know what i'm saying so i actually i actually don't mind the current meta now that's also you know i've said it before i don't mind the meta not being perfect because i'm not a pro player and i not like i'm not gonna ever be a pro player so the meta being slightly off is fine now i do hate overkill with a burning passion but i'll be okay i had a ton of fun one thing i learned from league play tonight is i definitely still do not know all the rotations for hardpoint now thankfully we were playing in a party of four which by the way i highly recommend you do i played one game solo in my placements because uh we were playing our placements and as soon as the game started i lagged out i that only happened to me a few times which does suck but it's not the end of the world um so my the rest of my teammates which was uh, scary gills and tag they just finished the game for them or i think they ended up quitting because there's no way they were going to win through before it was like a search and destroy but i just like played one of my placement threads solo and we lost literally so we were losing we started coming back and one of my teammates oh no my aim sucks i did oh i have these magnums on too not the diamantes um, but one of my teammates literally if he would have won his 1v1, we would have kept spawns in a crossroad hardpoint, and we would have won. We lost by two seconds, but he thought the game was over. He thought we already lost, so he was sitting AFK for the last 10 seconds. It was super annoying, so don't play solo if you can. Now, obviously, you know, if you don't have any friends on, we play still. We play solo is still better than pubs, but just try your best to not play solo is all I'll say. Other than the fact that not all the rules are perfect, like overkill and perk greed, it was still a ton of fun, like, for real. I am so thankful. Now, the ELO system sucks, yes, because it's a ladder. It's, like, not even an ELO system. It's in a ladder system. 
but it's still a lot of fun and obviously there's no ga so you can't ga like like the arming mean, the rc car still in there and the ak-47 which do suck but it's still fine like i said uh the only thing that really sucks is they'll never be able to limit you to just three trophy systems like what the pros play so that's why i recommend doing what i did and just be the guy who runs engineer what i have found is like three out of four games you play i didn't mean to pull out those magnums but three out of four games you play the enemy teams really aren't going to be throwing that many stuns and when they do throw stuns like all four of your teammates should just be running trophy systems so if you're the guy on your team that's running trophies you just destroy all of their trophy systems and just allow you i mean that's what i think won us a ton of games i just allow you to just allow your teammates to just to throw tons of nades at them if you're the guy getting rid of all their trophies now i do want to share with i want to share with you guys one of my like full games like one of my first placement games uh like i said though i got expert so that was a lot of fun uh the reason why i'm not sharing it with you today is because i was streaming on twitch and on twitch you have to wait 24 hours before you can upload a full game like to youtube like or anywhere besides you know twitch so i have to wait 24 hours for that so that's why you guys aren't getting it today but for tomorrow's video more than likely unless like tomorrow i change my mind but otherwise tomorrow's video more than likely is going to be one of our first hard point lights together and the reason why i want it to be one of our first hard points is because we are trying our absolute hardest so my friends all were already ranked from playing on the first day i don't know why i couldn't go i'm like out of the groove now because we had just got done playing for three almost four hours and it was a ton of fun but we were like out of the groove i didn't think i was gonna record another video tonight but i wanted to get it out there um we were like all trying so hard because my friends are like awesome and scary gills and, t and tig were i said and tig in a weird way because he's my cousin he's also my friend but they were trying to help me get a high rank so we were trying super hard the whole night but especially during my placement games we were trying extra hard don't snipe me you son of a gun where are you at I'll not allow you to hurt me. I'll not allow you to hurt me. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention to the score. All right, I guess we lost that game. But another thing, I had an epiphany on one of the biggest problems I had switching from controller to keyboard. I didn't realize it until tonight. But when I'm playing on controller, I got really used to and really good at moving while shooting. Like literally using my movement, my left analog stick, to help me aim left and right. And I did that all the time where on keyboard and mouse, I was not doing that. Like I was, when I would shoot someone, I would stand still to shoot them. And tonight I realized that that was one of my issues. And I was like, this is like such a huge, huge deal for me. The reason why that is such a big deal. If you don't do that, whether you're on keyboard or mouse or control, you want to move while you're shooting for two reasons. One, it can help you like make micro adjustments left or right for your aiming. If you're missing someone, it's easier to just, oh, I actually need to hit my mic. It's easier to like walk a little bit to the left than to like mess with your aim and mess up your aim assist if you're on controller but two it also helps you so you're moving so then it's harder for your opponent to track you like if you're just holding still like i was always doing they just beam you you're literally a hold still target like in a lot of other shooters you do hold still when you shoot but then call of Duty, you're not supposed to do that so i this whole like i don't know how long i've been playing i've been playing keyboard and mouse since christmas so almost two months now i have been just holding still while aiming and shooting when I'm like, I'm so used to like on controller. I was literally, dude, it's so crazy. Like I just thought, I thought about today, like for lead play, do I, should I switch back to controller? Cause I'm still not that great at keyboard and mouse. And I was like, what is the difference between controller and keyboard and mouse? And that was it. So now I feel way, way, way more confident on keyboard. And we had a great night of lead play with that. Like I said, expert rank here. What can I say? That is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for hanging out on the stream. League play, oh, I'm so happy that league plays here even though it's not perfect i'm just so happy that league plays here because man have i have not been enjoying pubs and in league play it's so nice to switch between hard point control and search and destroy like you never know which one you're gonna get it does suck that we play a lot of checkmate because that map has all three game modes but it's okay we had a ton of fun and it's just so fun even though the rank system isn't the best it's just so fun to play for a rank thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe on your way out we are still super close to 700 but not quite there help me out text your grandma text your grandpa text all your friends all your family members let them know to subscribe let's hit 700 today thank you and i'll see you guys later goodbye